Hello and welcome to the new Shop Floor Features in 2023. My name is Christian and today we'll be walking through some of the changes that you'll now see available in Shop Floor. The first change that I want to talk about is the most obvious and that is the new interface. So with this new interface you'll notice changes to the layout for not only the menu that you'd see here on the left hand side of your screen but also some of the data, how we enter the data into the software. So I want to start with the menu here and you'll notice that we've streamlined this menu a little bit. So now within your forms, if I take section nine as an example, you'll now go straight into the list of forms that you have available instead of having to select your current forms or to create new forms. You'll also be able to create a new form directly from the list of forms you have available. Now, I also want to show you using this example PQR how we've changed the inputs for some of your records. In this case, I'll be using a PQR as an example. The first thing that you'll notice is the change to the data inputs. So now, instead of having to scroll through the different sections, you'll be able to more easily navigate by using your tabs here at the top. We'll also change the tabs based on the processes that you select. So if you select a process that um, you know would not require gas, so if I edit this example, you'll notice that that tab is removed. So we'll select the information that is appropriate for the process that you've selected. So the next feature that I want to discuss is the bulk continuity entry. Within Shop Floor, you're now able to update continuity for multiple welders. So under our menu, we'll select welders, continuity, entry form. And now here on the right hand side, if I click add welders and I organize by the employee type, now I'm able to select multiple welders so that I can update the, all of their continuity. I can also select the entire list as well if I'd like. So when I select those welders, we'll, they'll be shown on the right hand side of the screen. From there, I can select the welding procedure that was used or the process and method and add any in additional information or tests. The next thing I'd like to discuss is a new tool that's available within Shop Floor, which is called Welder Management. So under our Welder section again, you'll notice this new Welder Management tab. And this tool allows you to organize and sort through your welders a couple different ways. So your first option is using the gear icon. We can select by shop location or filter by specific welders. Our second option here is to use some additional filters such as the process type and method. I'll make a change here so we can see. The software will then filter through the welders that we've selected to be available and then filter again by the process and method that we selected. So this tool can help you find welders that are qualified for a specific process, um, organized by location or uh, maybe a subset of welders. Now the last feature that I'd like to discuss in our video here is going to be the change to the number of welders. In Shop Floor, you now have the ability to track unlimited welders within the so software. This allows you to increase and decrease your workforce based on the work that you currently have. Now, if you'd like to see a personalized demonstration of Shop Floor, or if you have any questions, please reach out to us by emailing sales at codeware.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670. We look forward to speaking with you and we hope you have a great day.